Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaw Code. In this video, we'll be taking a deep look into how Kivi actually works. Let's get right into it. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on future tutorials. So I'm just in the main.py file that we were that we were using last video. Let's actually go into what we were doing here. We were importing the app class from the app module, and this app class right here, it's key for any Kivi project that you're making, you need to have this app class right here. And then we're also importing label, from kivi.uix.label, import label. If you're wondering what this UIX means, it's basically the user interface module. Is the module that imports all the user interface classes such as buttons and labels. Then we create a my app class that inherits from the app that we imported up here. This is also key for any Kivi project you're making, you will have to create your own app class. And inside the app class, we have this build method. This build method is called when we run our app. And what it does is it returns the root widget of the program, it returns the base widget, which in our case is label. By the way, if you are enjoying the video, a like would be appreciated. Anyway, let's just talk about widgets for a moment. So everything in Kivi is a widget, and every Kivi app has a root widget. This is like the base widget of our Kivi app, so everything in our app will be based upon this one widget. In our case, it is this label here. So everything in our app is based upon this label right here. And when we return this label at the end of the build method, this defines our root widget. When we run our Python file here, we are instantiating the myapp class, and we're also calling this run method. And this run method will initialize everything for our app, so it'll initialize the display, get everything working, and at the same time, it will also call this build method. Then when we run it, we get a label here with some text that says hello world. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section down below. I know this was quite hard to follow. So, if you don't understand anything, just leave a comment, I will get back to you. And, if you'd like to be taken to a tutorial where I show you how to create a switch statement in Python, which is actually a really useful thing to learn, then click on the end screen around here. Anyway, that's it from me. Cheers, and goodbye.